Here we are again. What can I say? Another amazing workout on the cards. Oh yes. Now, you've just seen me warming up, or caught me warming up I should say, with some bands. And I know I keep going on about these things, how good they are, but trust me, they are the best things in sliced bread. These cost me, I think, six quid from Decathlon. If you've got some weights, get some. Because honestly, for warming up with before you start training, you cannot get better than bands. I really wish that these was around like 30 years ago when I first started training. I tell you, in fact, in all fairness, it was, and I had the right encouragement of people, i.e. to warm up properly. My shoulder probably probably knackered now. You know I mean, probably be all right in all fairness. But when you're young, you're stupid. You just go into the gym and you pick the other weights up straight away. You don't warm up. And then when you're older, you think back and you think, what a dick, man. Why don't I warm up properly all the time? I wouldn't be aching as much as I am now. But there you go. Lesson to learn, day. Right, back to the workout. The reason why I'm doing a 10 minute back and bicep workout today is, there's a very good friend of mine, his name's Cole, and he lives in Bishop's Castle, you know who you are. I'm not gonna say his second name, just in case he, get a, he gets a little bit embarrassed, not wanting people to know that I'm his mate. But there you go, who would want me as a mate? I can't imagine anyone would, but there you go. Uh, now I know that he's only just got into his training, literally weeks ago, in all fairness, and he's only got one set of dumbbells, that's all he's got, which is sound. That is really, really good. In fact, it's the best thing that anyone could do that hasn't got any weights already. Buy yourself a set of dumbbells. I can't stress how important training is anyway for your health, your mental health, everything, you know, your own personal well-being. Training, I can't stress enough how important it is to train. But not many people seem to take that on board. I get that not, people don't want to go to the gym. I completely get that, you know. But there's no excuse for not owning a set of dumbbells. Like I've said in previous videos, growing up, all lads had a set of dumbbells in their rooms. I don't really know what's happened, you know what I mean? That seems to be a thing of a past now for some reason. Well, I do get it, because when we were kids, there was no such thing as Xboxes and PlayStation. We never had the luxury of just sitting in the bedroom doing all that. No, you was made to go out, do shit with your day. You know what I mean? But that's why we grow different to the kids today but I'm not gonna go down that road. Now, I happen to know that my mate Cole, he's not the only person with just a set of dumbbells, that's all he's got, you know? And I know in the roundabout way, you're kind of limited to what you can do as such with a set of dumbbells, but if you've got a good imagination, you know, you can always tweak things or just turn things around. You don't have to spend ages on machines and, and all that crap, you know? You can, how can I put it, you can, uh, you can just swap things around, change things basically, you know what I mean? You can make things up. So long as it works, and you feel that it works, it's okay, do it, you know? So, there are certain exercises in this little workout, like, uh, like bench rows. I know that not everyone's got a bench at home, you know, no one's got, not many people have got that luxury, or not many people have got space for a bench, which is fair enough, you know, I get that. So, instead of doing bench rows, I'm gonna be using this. The reason I'm gonna be using this is because everyone's got a work side in their kitchen. Now I get that most people's work side aren't this side. They're about that way. But when I do bench rows, well, the bench would be there. But if your worktop is there, you know, and you're doing your rows, there's no difference to my body moving there when I put my hand there. You know, so don't think that's hiding on my work surface. So what? Uh, tell you what, I'll put down there if you want. Doesn't matter, so long as my body is at this angle. So I can get the weight and work it up. You know, it doesn't matter where this hand is, this hand, the job of this hand is just to support you. I'm being supported there, I'm being supported there. Wherever this hand is, I'm being supported. You know, so that doesn't matter. Every other exercise on here, you don't need this. You know, but the reason why I've decided to do a back and bicep is because my mate Cole, since he's got his bike, since he's got his dumbbells, and I'm sure most blokes out there are the same, you know, who have got a set of dumbbells. The main thing that it's ever seemed to do is curls. That's all he ever seemed to do, and I get that. 
because it is the most enjoyable exercise in all fairness, so I get that, curling's ace. But, you need priority, you can't just turn your biceps all the time, you know what I mean? And your back, as far as I'm concerned, is an extremely important part of your body to work. You know, your back is very important. You need a good, strong back. You know, just for lifting things, holding onto things, whatever. You need, you know, you engage your lats on most things you do. When I've had a bar, I'm not just grabbing your forearm, I'm engaging everything, my lats, everything. You know, so it's important to have a good back. <clears throat> right, enough of that. They're gonna crack on. First off, we're gonna start with north and south. So, feet together. Hands on your chest, look up. Look down, look up, look down. Elbows out, elbows in, all the way over. Oh, pull your shorts up. Just let yourself relax for a sec. Let your body flop. Then grab your bum, hands, calves, wherever you like, feet, and breathe all your air out. And roll all the way up. Support your pelvis, Ooh. all the way over, look behind you, and then relax. Right then, left hand, left hip, looking at your right palm, corkscrew all the way up, bend your arm, point to the left. Pushing your left hip with your left hand. And then throw your arm over, Woo. Right hand, right hip, looking at your left palm, corkscrew all the way up. Ooh. Bend your arm, point to the right. Pushing your right hip with your right hand. Oh yes, throw your arm over. Then grab that ball, baby. Throw it behind you. Ooh. Don't forget to lift that heel. Oh, I had a bit of a click then. Me back the first time I've done this. That's better. I obviously needed that. Sound. <clears throat> right, shake it out. Are you ready for this? Like I say, it is, I don't get it, bleeding timer working. Whoa, sort of. 50 seconds, continuous exercise, same as before, oh yes. 10 seconds, transitional period. Are you ready? So enough, I said. Right. Kills. Oh yes. Now, I always start with curls or arms before I go on to a back exercise. <clears throat> That's if I'm doing back and biceps together, by the way. Because curling is a good way of warming your arms up. It's a good way of warming everything up, in all fairness. Because you're actually moving, but it's not too strenuous. Now, remember, this is not a race. It's against the clock. But when I say against the clock, it's not a case of how many reps can you do in a certain time, you're just curling for a certain time, you know. If you're going fast or slow, it makes no difference, still timing the tension. Right, back, bent over rows. <coughs> and by the way, I know, oops, hold on, wait for that, simple as that. When you come down, if you can, touch your weights. Remember, you want that squeeze at the top. I can't physically lift that any higher. I'm getting a nice squeeze. Now, I know certain exercises, like this one, I would normally do quite a bit heavier than this, but, the reason I'm sticking at one weight is because I just so happen to know that these are the same dumbbells that you make holes got. In fact, these are the identical dumbbells he's got, and I know he's got his weight. He's got one set, which is why I'm using the same weight, and I'm using it for everything. Whoa, reverse curls. And the odds are that most people at home who have got a set of dumbbells, they've probably only got one weight as well. Or, they've probably got the dumbbells in white margus, so I think a 30 quid or something, and they've got a nice little case. And you can actually change the weight. So 
colourless bin blocks at the end, bin collars. And they're really good, and I'll tell you, 30 quid. Surely, well, I'll have a period of time, whatever you have to say, but I don't know, but surely everyone can get 30 quid together, get themselves a nice set of dumbbells. And a band, you need 36 quid. Oh yes! Oof. Right then! Reverse bent over rows. Exercise. Like that. The only difference between this one and what I've just done, that is that. With this one, for some reason, I feel like you get better squeeze on your lower lats. I don't know if it's because you can actually pull your elbows together, if you have a look. My elbows are there. You can get your elbows a lot closer around behind your back. So you can get better squeeze with these. Now, why don't I just do these? Because you want variety. That's why. Turn around. Ah, bent over one arm curls. Great. Oof. Right. Bum out, support your weight on your leg. I don't want to that. Your elbow stays, well, apart from bending, it stays still. This is one of those exercises that you have to try and keep strict. You know, you really do not want that arm to move. You want to stay nice and still. You really want to work that bicep. In fact, in all fairness, as far as feeling the bicep actually work, this is probably the, in my, in my, in my, uh, whatever, in my opinion, this is probably the best exercise, like I say, to feel your bicep actually work. I love it. And I love it because it's so hard, in all fairness. Come out, support your weight. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Keep your arm nice and still. Exercises that I don't do often enough. 
should do really. But then I'm a little bit like an old dog. Got stuck in the ways, you know what I mean? But I go on about prior to throw these in, you will work out more often. Right, that's it, last exercise. Amma curls, but, <clears throat> no it's not Alice, last exercise, sorry, that's the, <laughs> arms again, that's one for arms. Amma curls, but you still look like that, cross the body, and squeeze. You really want to squeeze that up as much as you can. Or as squeezy as you can. You can't squeeze that anymore. All that. In all fairness, I don't do this often enough either. I really like this one. In fact, there's not many exercises I don't like on bench. <laughs> oh, that's that sort of teach you out. Right, this one definitely is the last exercise. It's back and it's double rows. Exercise. Don't even remember these from the front. They're like that. They're not rows, they're not lateral raises. The double rows. The reason they're called double rows from behind. What I'm trying to do is get this dumbbell past my shoulder. I know it's not actually going past my shoulder, but somewhere in there. Yeah. Oh yes! Oh! Finito! Now, it's last video, the problem with this, it won't stop. Turn it off. <clears throat> Workout done! Done and dusted. 10 minutes of your day. You trained your back and your biceps. Oh yes! What can I say? Amazing stuff. Everyone's got 10 minutes. There you go. So, that's it for today's video. <clears throat> I will do North and South again. I never last video, couldn't be asked, and I was knackered. But I will today. Right, feet together. Hands in your chest, look up, look down. Look up, look down. Elbows out, elbows in, all the way over. Relax for a second. Now, the second time you do this, it should be easier than the first time because <clears throat> you've already stretched out. Grab your legs whenever you want, breathe all your air out. All the way up. In fact, that was a lot easier than the first time I've done it. Ooh. And why? I'm not as tight anymore. <coughs> left hand, left hip, looking at your right palm. Corkscrew, all the way up. Bend your arm, point to the left. Pushing your left hip with your left hand. And then throw your arm over. Right hand, right hip, look at your left arm, corkscrew all the way up. Bend your arm, point to the right. Pushing your right hip with your right hand. And throw your arm over. Grab your ball, all the way around. Oh yes. Do you know, it's amazing how, when I do that at the beginning of the video, I'm dead tight, it's like, oh, oh, oh. Everything's tight and sore. When I do it at the end of the video, sound. Just because to show how important it is to stretch every day. And in all, fa and in all fairness, you know and south, that what took me 10, 12 seconds. What's your excuse for not having 10 to 12 seconds? I'd love to hear that, because that's a hell of an excuse. I want to know what it is, I'm going to use it myself. So, over, done and dusted. I hope there's something you can take from this today. If not, oh well, such is life, maybe next time. So enjoy the rest of your day.
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Recommend it to all your friends if you have any, which I'm sure you have. Uh, and that's it. So until next time, you take it easy. Boom!